Got another scan tool to look at today from King Bolin. This is their E-Diag Elite. Let's open it up and take a closer look. Hey, what's up YouTube, Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. King Bolin reached out and asked if I'd be willing to take a look at this little scan tool. This is the E-Diag Elite. Now this is just a little Bluetooth dongle that you plug into your OBD port in your vehicle and you do need to have either a smartphone or a tablet to get this connected. So let's open it up and see what comes included. It's a nice little box, just this tray slides out and it looks like it comes in its own little case, that's nice. And then we've got some quick start instructions here. Now it looks pretty straightforward, but we do need to scan the QR code here with our tablet and we'll get this all set up and paired with our device so that we can plug this into a vehicle and see how it does. All right, let's open the app here now that we have it uh, downloaded. Oh, looks like we need to turn it this way. Okay, it says congratulations, binding successful. We're now paired to this iPad, so let's take this out to the driveway and see if we can get this plugged into a vehicle and see how it does. Okay, so we've got all systems diagnostics, maintenance functions, and OBD functions, along with vehicle coverage, inquiry, reports, and history. Let's take a look at all systems diagnostics first. So I've already scanned this once before, but I'm gonna do it again. We'll go ahead and scan the VIN and see if it can uh, pull that up for us. Now I'm in a 2016 Ford Transit and it's gonna pull that up. There it is, it's giving us our VIN and letting us know year 2016 Transit USA Ford. Let's hit confirm. So this will download whatever software you need for your vehicle. So here's our options, health report, system scan, system selection, or vehicle information. Let's go ahead and do a health report first. ABS, ACM, it's actually speaking each module as it goes through. That's pretty interesting. Module no fault code, CCM. Cruise control module not equipped. Looks like we do have just a couple fault codes here. Let's take a look at this first one here, the IPMB image processing module. Read the fault code. So it's our camera module, B115E. 08-0A. I'm going to go ahead and clear that and see if that will permanently erase it or see if it comes back. All right, clearing fault memory completed. Now there's no DTC, so it didn't come right back on, which is great. Let's do the key on engine off on-demand self-test and see if it comes back. Well, there you go. Still no DTC. That's great. Let's hit back. Now I'm going to go back to our other code which was right here in our PCM or powertrain control module. Let's read the fault code. These are the, it's a continuous memory DTC. So it says our transmission fluid temperature sensor A had an over temperature condition, which it may have just gotten hot. I'm gonna clear that. Okay, no DTC. Let's take a look and see if we have any other fault codes. That's actually the only other one that there was. So that's it for the fault codes. Let's go ahead and hit back and let's do a system scan. ABS, ACM, audio control module equipped. Now it looks like the system scan just went through and scanned each of those same modules. Now we can also take a look at the live data in each one of these modules. Let's take a look at the steering angle sensor module. Now we don't have any fault codes, but let's read data stream and see what we can do here. Steering wheel angle steering direction. Let's take a look at that. Let's uh, also we have the steering wheel angle degree and angle velocity. Let's hit confirm. So here we have it. it says steering wheel angle steering direction right, steering wheel angle degree, and steering wheel angle velocity. Well let's go ahead and turn the steering wheel a little bit. See what happens. There you go. It's instantly changing. Now it says steering wheel direction is left. So that's pretty cool. Pretty neat way to uh, take a look at that live data. Let's go back. Now let's take a look at our powertrain control module or the PCM. Let's read data stream here. Man, look at all of those parameter IDs. That's just so many. So you can also search here. Let's just go air temperature. That was the first one. See what shows up. 
So let's take a look at the ambient air temperature and just see what uh, what shows up and how accurate that is. So it's in Celsius. So right now it's uh, just showing us the ambient air temperature. So I would rather this be in uh, Fahrenheit. Let's go ahead and hit back and see if I can. I don't know if there's a way to change those settings. Here we go. Here's settings. Unit of measurement, imperial or metric. Well, let's go with imperial. Huh. You can also turn off that voice plane if you'd like, and I'm going to turn that off. And then this also just gives you the option to change your password or notification settings and everything here. And the user agreement and all that good stuff. So it looks like our settings looks like we were already in Imperial. So I'm not sure why it's uh, I'm not sure why the degrees were in Celsius, but let's go back to the other functions here. So we also have maintenance functions. Now here we would have to download the software for the maintenance. It's oil maintenance reset, immobilizer, electronic throttle relearn, ABS bleeding, brake reset, DPF regen, TPMS reset, steering angle reset, injector coating, gearbox relearn, battery matching, EGR adaption, sunroof initialization, air level calibration, adaptive front lighting. Now, every single one of these software is available to download for free. This is free and lifetime free updates. Once you buy this, that's it. You're done. You don't have to add anything or, or pay a subscription. Let's take a look at our OBD functions here real quick. So again, there's our VIN. I'll scroll up so it's blocked. The MIL or malfunction indicator lamp status is off. No diagnostic trouble codes. Readiness completed two. Readiness not completed six. Well, that's because I cleared the codes. Initially, I had all eight readiness completed, but now that I've cleared the codes, we do need to run through all of the drive cycles to have those turned back on. 53 data streams supported. All right, let's go back. Now you can also inquire about the vehicle coverage. You can enter a VIN and see what it will find for you. Now, just remember every time you're done with this to pull this out of the vehicle. I can't tell you how many of these little OBD dongles I've left in customers' vehicles. Now, of course, you do need to have this paired with a tablet or a smartphone in order to use it. Now, I know I'm just barely scratching the surface on the capabilities here, but I'm already very impressed with everything that this can do. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. And of course, I'll get a link in the description where you can pick up your very own e-diag elite from king bolin as well thanks so much for watching and good luck <laughs>